Welcome to this screencast on how to generate PDFs using HTML doc and this screencast is based on the blog post by Atlantic Dominion Solutions and this is the blog post where they have discussed uh, how this solve this problem of generating PDF. I like this solution and I have made uh, some modifications for Rails to that. Oh, and I'll walk you through it. And also at the end, I'll throw in a tip on the log files and how we can use in production system and use it for debugging issues. Okay, let's get started. I like this uh, HTML doc because it's very simple and Ryan Bates has gone over PDF writer and how we can use that PDF writer to create uh, PDF documents. The, the reason I don't um, use PDF writer is because it has its own uh, syntax and you have to read a 100 page manual and it has its own uh, API that you need to learn in order to format the documents and include images and draw images and so on. Of course, the HTML doc uh, is much more simpler. If you know how to um, structure document using HTML, then you just use it, uh, that knowledge, existing knowledge to generate PDF also. And you can include images. And I came across this while I was working on a problem for a client and the client was happy. They were, included the, inc they were able to include the logo in the PDF document and someone signs up for the event, we generate this PDF on the fly with all the details uh, for that particular event. The um, people who uh, register for the event can print out this document and you know even save it on their desktop and forward it uh, as an attachment to their friends if they want to. So I found this very uh, uh, impractical and very simple to set this thing up and uh, work with this uh, HTML doc. The first thing you have to do is you have to download the HTML doc and I will include the instructions that's found uh, also found on the Atlantic Dominion Solutions uh, blog. If you're on Unix, you'll just do a curl, download the doc and configure and do a make and sudo make install. And also you have to install the HTML doc gem. Okay, so I'm assuming you already can already get this thing done. I'll include the instructions. You can just copy paste into a, uh, a shell and you can install this thing on your machine. So let's get started. The first thing uh, we can do is I've created a new Rails app. PDF Gen is the Rails app. I already created the database. Now let's go ahead and create a controller. I'll just say, let's just call it product controller. And then we'll also create a model called product with um, name is of type string. That's enough uh, just for the sake of uh, printing some information. And now we have a controller and we have a model. Let's open up the okay we have this uh, migration let's run this and create the table and then in the controller let's create an index action in this index action, we will find all the products in the database. And since we don't have anything, let's create some product here.
Okay, let's uh, redo this thing, right? TV reset will redo will actually go one level down and come back up since we just have one um, migration will uh, have four products in the database now easily it's not a good idea to use uh, the model in your migration if the model changes and if you delete the model uh, refactor and rename it it's it's problematic you should usually have a red task and you should load using the bootstrap loader rec task that you can find in Memphis the plugin and I've also worked just and I've also shown this thing on another screencast I did on Rails 2.0 using a depot app so I'm just doing this quick and dirty just to focus on generating PDF okay now in Rails 2.0 under config you can have uh, initializers and in the MyMe tags I'm going to register the PDF and the PDF is going to look like MyMe type register I'm just going to copy paste this thing here application PDF and PDF and also you can have all your uh, requirements you can just Put them in requirements.rb if you have a lot of requires some library statement you can organize it this way instead of cluttering your environment.rb and trying to hunt for things uh, when uh, you are working on your project so I'll just put them here so it's easy to f f find where the libraries are so now I have HTML doc I already have HTML doc gem installed I do a require and I have my type register and I have product and here I need to have an index file that will have a link to the PDF. That would be something like link to PDF formatted product path and we need the PDF. We'll also create a, another file called index dot our PDF yeah I'm going to copy paste uh, my test project and change the items to products there's only really name of the product I don't have address name and you can include uh, images for instance the logo of the company and uh, if you have layouts you can include footer on every on the bottom and you can have your own nice layout with um, any HTML with gives a uh, nice boundary you can have a line on the top bottom and left and the right side so in the layout I, I just have a very simple layout it only has one statement so let's go to layouts views layouts and I'll create a new layout file so PDF you can have your own layout so pdf.erb for now I'm going to keep this thing simple, just do a yield, that's it, doesn't do anything. And 
now comes the index in the index we can um, have a respond to block if we want to respond to the PDF we will have a section for the PDF okay so yeah for, I want to respond to format and I want to respond to PDF also so in that case I have a, I'm using the send data method. This render to PDF is a helper that uh, Atlantic Dominion guys have actually written. I struggled with the um, uh, the helper method they gave for including the image, and I couldn't get this thing working. Others also had similar issues. So if you see my actual index dot rpdf I included this I also tried to use the image tag rails helper to get this image show up I couldn't use either the helper method that the ADS guys had provided on their blog or use the um, rails helper so I had to do this thing to get the image show up so that's one issue I couldn't resolve To display the PDF file and the layout I want to use is layout and you specify the name of the layout we just created PDF uh, underscore report this should be PDF report dot PDF dot ERB just give the name without specifying the extension you can also specify the name if you don't specify the name by default it will show up as product.pdf so you can specify the file name like this my file.pdf that's it and now you have your section for PDF. Let's uh, run the server. And let's see if we can hit this index for the product product controller and hmm. product controller dot rv13 okay I had a do in block and then I removed it so that's the issue okay let's see if it works now undefined method formatted product path okay so let's open up the routes.rb file here since we are using restful routes let us say map resources product and let's restart the server since we change the routes okay what do we have big routes formatted product
product path index HTML or ERB Okay, this seems to be problematic with the singular routes. Let's just stick with the plural form of it. Okay, now let's try again. And in the routes, we need to have plural. We change the uh, index HTML. Let's try again, this time using the plural path. Let's change this to products. Define products controller. Okay. So let's change this to products. Singular and plural causes a lot of headache. Let's get this thing working. App views products. We need to rename the directory to products also. Let's try this again. index HTML dot ERB okay there it is now we need to include the helper method in the application dot RB the helper method approved given by the ADS guys we need to include this in the application dot ARB And let's go back. And there it is. So let's open this. And you can format the image at the center, the bottom, and you can format the entire PDF using just HTML. As a last uh, tip, but useful tip, I'm going to show you uh, give you some tips and there's advanced rails recipes book and it shows how we can use uh, different logger instead of using rails logger to include date and timestamp this is especially useful in debugging uh, rails uh, uh, in apps that which are in production but the problem is it I used it and it doesn't seem to log any of the SQL statements and a lot of uh, useful information is not logged in the f log files and it becomes a lot difficult to uh, debug. So I'll just quickly show you uh, the instructions I found on the wiki, Rails wiki that was uh, much more useful. So in the lib directory, let's create a logger core x dot rb and i'll just throw in this source code that i found in wiki of rails, uh, rails wiki and a lot of um, things are like outdated and i had hopefully this thing saves you some time since you already know it's going to work and once you throw this thing into the um, lib directory you can go include it in the requirements and you can have require statement here where you specify require logger core ext 
like here like this and when you restart the app and when you run it again let's clear this when you run this thing again you'll see some good uh, timestamp and you'll see the date and it's very useful for you to debug issues when someone reports uh, problems you'll be able to track the log files and you'll be able to solve issues in production so that's it for this screencast and if you enjoyed it please recommend me on working with us thank you